Hey everybody, it's Ronnie here. So for today, if you can't tell by my green outfit, I will be doing my March slash St. Patrick's Day Dollar Tree haul. If you've enjoyed these videos, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And I'm really close to hitting my subscriber goal for the month of February, which is 50 subscribers. And it would really mean a lot if you would go and click the subscribe button. And make sure to check out my other social media down below. It'll all be linked in the description. Now, let's get into the video. First off, similar to my Valentine's Day Dollar Tree haul, I'll be showing you guys some of their wooden signs. So they had those long board signs. One of them said welcome with a shamrock in it and the other one said lucky. And they also have these really cool like DIY wooden signs. So they had this one, which I absolutely loved with the little banner and the shamrocks. And then they also had just a plain shamrock as well as a little pot of gold. So they're becoming a lot more versatile with what you could do since you can basically paint this however you want it, which is really cool. Dollar Tree also has these little wooden signs, which are honestly perfect for tear trays. This one says Irish wishes and shamrock kisses, which is just super cute. My mom got this for her tear tray, so I can't wait to see how that turns out. And of course, what's a Dollar Tree holiday without some tinsel? They have this 12 foot tinsel for basically every single holiday. And for this, they had this green. They also had one with some gold accents. And you know, just a little tip, if you just double it up and twist it, it makes it a lot more full compared to just the single one. I know it's not that noticeable on camera, but honestly, I do that for all the tinsel in my room. It just makes it so much bolder. And speaking of tinsel, they also have these little tinsel hats, which are just so cute. I got like three of them for this one DIY that just popped in my head as soon as I saw them. They have similar ones that are smaller with some little like festive flowers and stuff sticking out of the top, but these were so much cuter. So I'm a bit bummed they didn't have little wooden shamrocks, but they had these little fabric ones. So they have some in light green and dark green. It's a pack of 12, so I'm pretty sure it's just six and six. Both of them are covered in glitter. And yeah, that's kind of it. I'm a bit bummed they didn't have little wooden ones like Valentine's Day, how they had the wooden hearts. But again, something's better than nothing. They also have a lot of window clings. This one is broken, so I did get it on sale for 50 cents. I'm not using the Leprechaun, so honestly, I didn't mind getting this half off. So, yeah, they have a few of these. Some are a little, like, cartoony like this, and then others are a bit more high-end looking. It all depends on what your aesthetic is and what you're going for. They also have these cute little shamrock kitchen towels, which can just spice up any kitchen for the holiday. I love it. It's so cute. And they're really hard to find. So if you see them at your Dollar Tree, snatch them up. They also have these little cauldrons. They also had them at Halloween, but they come in a pack of five and they are honestly perfect for little pots of gold. Similarly, they have these little shamrock picks. So for Valentine's Day, they had hearts. And now they have little glitter shamrocks, which is just adorable. Comes in a little pack of six. And it's just good for any little DIYs or just to spice up a home plant. And of course, it's St. Patrick's Day, so they're going to have these little gold coins. This is in a pack of 30. And honestly, I'm probably not even going to use all of them. They're really good to scatter on a tear tray. They did have St. Patrick's Day scatter which was like these little foam gold coins and um, bigger shamrocks than the picks. But I honestly just like the gold plastic coins better. And they even have little sayings on the back. So four leaf clover for good luck. That's so cute. And the very last thing I have to show you guys are these beautiful flowers. They had three different ones. So there was this light green one, which was like white with green tips. And they had some little shamrock picks in there. And then they had a white one with green. And then there was one similar to the first one, light green, but it has little gold coins and it has little like gold glitter on top. 
So there's three different ones and they are all super cute. And that's the last St. Patrick's thing I have to show you guys. So now onto something I'm super excited about. You guys have probably heard it already, but all Dollar Trees now have an expanded crafter square. And our Dollar Tree, the whole aisle just improved so much. So they usually have little packs of glitter there, which I did show in my previous Dollar Tree haul for Valentine's Day. I will link that down below if you did not see the outside of Valentine's Day items. But I've now seen that they have these little glitter poster paints, which honestly, they look super vibrant. I haven't tested them yet. I'm going to save these for Easter, but you guys will see how they turn out then. They did have some in lighter colors, but it looked a bit more dried out, like the containers were half empty. These did look a lot better, and they're even branded with Crafter Square. They also have a lot more of these little canvases. So they have a few different sizes. They also have a lot of flat ones, but again, these are perfect for any mini paintings or mini projects you want to do. So I'll be showing you a video of what was in our crafter square. They have different things like more tape. They have a lot more stickers, beads, glitter, paint, canvases, yarn, fabric, anything you can think of, they now have it, which is just awesome. I absolutely love it. When I had walked to my Dollar Tree and I saw this sign saying expanded craft your square, I was screaming. Like, I'll sh you'll see it right now. Now, of course, to pick up with the trends, Dollar Tree glasses have been very in recently. So I've used one of these already for a gift I made for my best friend's birthday, but I did get another one because I do want to repeat that same thing. I will be putting a DIY video out soon just using this glass. And honestly, they already look high end. It looks like I got this at Walmart and they have a lot more glasses like that. Again, you can check them out on the Dollar Tree website. I will link it down below. And they also have really nice candles. So I did show off the mason jar ones in my last video, but they have a bit more spring scents now. So this one 
is Sun Ripened Berry. I absolutely, I was just, I smelled it and I was obsessed. I think I'm probably going to get more the next time I go back. My Dollar Tree didn't have the brand new ones everyone's talking about, but by my next DIY video, I will be sure to talk about them. Now, normally Dollar Tree has these little frames like this, they're super thick, but I mean, the back of them have gotten a bit better with their hanging. Because normally it's just that little thing that pops out, but the smaller frames, they have gotten a lot stronger. And I've noticed that recently. And not only that, but they've gotten a lot bigger frames. I don't know if it's just my Dollar Tree that's barely gotten this, but I mean, this is huge. It's bigger than my head. Like, this is probably the biggest frame I've seen them have. So, that's pretty cool. I'm happy to see Dollar Tree improving. And along with that, I did show in my previous Dollar Tree haul how I got these little, like, sparkle wraps. You can already tell I used some of it. But for Easter, I did get a purple one. They have it in purple, fuchsia pearls and blue. I'm pretty sure there's more colors out there, but that's just what I remember off the top of my head. I would totally recommend getting these just to spice up any decor around your room. It honestly works so well. And I do recommend putting some hot glue or crazy glue, some sort of adhesive underneath just to strengthen it. Because these are good for temporary and for a more permanent stay, I do recommend using like E6000 or hot glue. So the very last thing I have to show you guys is some wooden items I had. Our wooden section just popped out of nowhere. So they have little things, they have little animals, they had little pineapples, little boxes, and my favorite thing are these mini crates. This is absolutely adorable. And they have one smaller where the bars are separated, but honestly, this is just a perfect size for a tear tray, or again, just to have. I mean, <laughs> this is just adorable. Here's a photo of all of the wooden items we've had. There's hearts, stars. Again, the list just goes on and on. The expansion of Craft Your Square in all Dollar Tree stores is just going to not only boost business and boost DIYs, but it honestly just changes the whole game. Thank you so much for watching. It honestly means a lot. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you like this content, consider subscribing. All my social media will be linked down below in the description. Make sure to comment your favorite item. And if you do go to Dollar Tree, tag me. Let me know what you got. Let me know what you thought of this haul. And make sure to keep an eye out for upcoming videos. I'll be having two St. Patrick's Day DIY videos, as well as my Easter haul coming up. And I also have a few covers coming out soon. So again, make sure to keep an eye out for that. And don't forget, have fun crafting!